when we refer to a woman, uh, please uh, decline, give a feminine noun. Uh, there are, however, uh, many uh, cases in which we um, refer generically to a human being. We don't know if it is a man or a woman. There are many ways uh, to deal with this. Um, in some cases, you can have the masculine and the feminine now, uh, especially if it is a plural, you can have the plural masculine and the plural feminine noun or the singular masculine dash, the feminine noun. Um, very recently, uh, there is a, a well-used, but at the same time, very much debated um, way of putting an asterisk uh, at the end of a word. People hate this, and I think uh, it would be very interesting to study the hate speech against gender fair language users, um, which shows that the, uh, the issue is much more than just voice. I'm always in favor of a very diplomatic way because when we communicate, we have to get our message through. So sometimes if we use extremely fair uh, language, uh, we may have the, uh, it may happen that uh, we are offending our interlocutor, especially if it is a woman. Sometimes women want to be called with the masculine. Then I think we should educate women, explain, okay, make them aware that uh, language is so important and that if we keep having uh, the masculine for as the gender of, uh, um, of uh, prestige, uh, all women will suffer uh, for this. And, uh, and then uh, we have to make our communication as fluid as possible. So uh, try to avoid uh, two rep repetitions. And after all, if it is clear that we are using the masculine plural for a group of men and women, that will not be a problem. The problem will be if we use just, just masculine uh, language all the text through.